A suspect is in custody after a dramatic police chase unfolded live on Global BC's Morning News this morning. Our very own Global One chopper recorded the chase as a suspect drove a five-ton truck erratically down Low Heat Highway, narrowly missing a school bus, crashing into a police cruiser before coming to an abrupt end. Jennifer Palma has our top story. Once again, if you're in the area around the Haney Bypass and the Low Heat Highway, the uh, east end of the Haney Bypass, about 240th, may want to stay off of the Low Heat Highway right now. This vehicle has been going through red lights. and It's the peak of the morning rush hour, and RCMP are in pursuit of a stolen farm truck driving dangerously and erratically along the Low Heat Highway in Maple Ridge. We received a report uh, here in Ridge Meadows of a stolen truck that had been stolen from a local farm. Uh, the report was that a man had showed up there. He was very erratic. Uh, in fact, uh, the report was that he showed up naked and uh, got into one of the trucks. He actually stole some coveralls at the farm, got into one of the trucks and started it up and, uh, and left the scene. Uh, he was confronted by the farmers there and pulled over for a moment. And uh, he was so erratic, the farmers backed off. And Police caught up to the suspect on Harris Road in Pitt Meadows. He willingly pulled over and said this to police. And our officers tried to approach the vehicle at this time. The man, again, was very erratic. Um, and he told the members that what he was going to do was drive to a bridge and blow the bridge up and that they'd never catch him. The pursuit was on. Speeds varied between 60 and 100 kilometers per hour as the driver ran red lights up and down Lowheat Highway in Maple Ridge, smashing into a cruiser. He kept going, and at one point, the truck was behind a school bus. Uh, during these pursuits, uh, I want to say that our first priority is public safety. We want to ensure the, the, that everyone who is on the road is safe. And what we did to ensure that public safety, whenever we thought that the pursuit may be getting a little out of hand, uh, the officers involved backed off. And all the major intersections that we could cover off, we covered them off to prevent any cross traffic. Um, as much as we could. Several spike belts were set up, helping to shred the truck's tires, bringing the vehicle to a standstill. Yeah, there he is. He's making a run for it. The, the, oh, my gosh. The suspect still tried to get away when an undercover police SUV hit him. Both the suspect and the officer driving the SUV suffered minor injuries. <laughs> Miraculously, there were no serious accidents and no one suffered serious injuries in this 20-minute chase that lasted all the way up along, as you can see here, Low Heat Highway in Maple Ridge. Police do have in custody a 49-year-old man. He was treated for his injuries, taken back into custody, and he has since returned to hospital again for some more treatment of non-life-threatening injuries, we're told. As for the reasons for his erratic behavior, that is unknown. That is still being investigated and... As for where this man is from, we do know that he was born in New Westminster at this time. As you can see, traffic is flowing freely along the Low Heat Highway. Once again, both east and west bound. It had been shut down for about two hours this morning as police investigated the semi as or the, the truck as well as the police cruisers that had been involved in the chase have now all been removed. And for more information, of course, tune into our early news and news hour newscasts. Randine. Thank you, Jennifer. Any word at this point on charges? Uh, it's still not clear what charges will be laid and, or that he'll be facing. They're still trying to determine that they need to have some time to sit down and talk with him as well as see if any witnesses saw anything else that he was doing. Randine. Thank you, Jennifer. Jennifer Palma in Maple Ridge this afternoon.